Tonight, we're learning more about paid family leave and why all eyes nationally are on a new program in Rhode Island. It's even become a hot topic in the race for president. And paid family leave? It's not the law of the land, even though it would really help working families. It's a story we've been tracking for months. Rhode Island is just one of three states in the country that gives partial paid time off to new parents or people with sick family members. Back in May, we told you about Temporary Caregiver Insurance, or TCI. Rhode Island started the program a year and a half ago, but even if you've never heard of it, there's a good chance it's been coming out of your paycheck. And new tonight, I sit down exclusively with a group of researchers to find out if Rhode Island is getting what they're paying for. It's a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Being able to spend quality time with a newborn is vital. The opportunity to do so while getting a percentage of your pay beneficial. Back in May, we introduced you to Jack Hanna, who was afforded time off covered by Rhode Island's Temporary Caregiver Insurance, or TCI. She won't remember it, but um, I will down the road, and, and it has made me very confident. I can take care of the baby, go to daycare, pack the bag, and, and just be super dad. TCI gives up to four weeks of partial paid time off to Rhode Island workers bonding with a newborn, adopted, or foster child. It also allows the same time to care for a sick family member. A group of researchers from the University of Rhode Island was commissioned by the Department of Labor and Training to study how things went in the first year of the TCI program. As it turns out, half of people surveyed didn't even know about TCI. And we found out that about 50% of everyone we surveyed was aware, and the other half um, were not. And of course, those people were mostly the ones who didn't take TCI. Eyewitness News spoke exclusively with the URI researchers about their findings. For those Rhode Islanders who took TCI, 73% used it for a newly arrived child. 23% used the time to care for a sick family member. And most people found out about the benefit through family and friends and not their employers or doctors. Researchers say one of the biggest misconceptions how the program is paid for. People need to know that they are paying for the program and that employers uh, or the state um, are not paying for any of it. TCI is funded through a state payroll tax. It shows up on your paycheck as TDI or Temporary Disability Insurance. Everyone who works in Rhode Island who makes more than $10,800 a year pays into it. The majority of our respondents actually were unaware that they were the ones paying into TCI. Since it's the law, TCI also provides job security for those who need time off. But researchers say some workers didn't know that and were worried their jobs would not be there when they got back. Professor Helen Metterer says their findings should call attention to how important families are to successful economies. The more we can integrate work and family in our society, the more stable our society will be and the better outcomes our economy, families will have. Overall, researchers tell me 70% of people who applied for a paid family leave through Rhode Island's TCI program were either satisfied or very satisfied with the experience. Employees who took TCI experienced better health outcomes, both lower stress levels as well as higher personal well-being and health. In order to increase awareness about paid family leave, the Department of Labor and Training now offering more information about TCI to Rhode Islanders. Calling with questions about taking time off, they're also researching that. Now, URI researchers will continue to study the program with help from a grant from the U.S. Department of Labor.